Hello everybody and welcome to another Spooncraft.com and Beginner's Guide movie. Let's talk about channels, combat, and rest. Now, channels are a new concept to me in an MMO and I fucking love it. A channel is like an instance copy of the game world. There are ten of them and you can switch freely between them all. If there are too many people playing around and you're getting some lag, video card lag, or whatnot, you're competing for quest mobs, you're gathering nodes and such, you switch a channel and you're pretty much good to go. You can also see group members on the map that are in different channels, so you're essentially still in the same zone, just different layers of it. Now in a second I'm going to talk about combat, but before I get to the footage I want to lay some groundwork for you real quick. Now combat is pretty fast paced in the game and there's a couple things that you need to remember. One thing I do like about the combat in Aeon is that it's not as bursty as it is in other MMOs and uh, there's a lot less extra baggage. In other words, I don't have a hot bar filled with 2,000 useless fucking buttons that I'm only going to be pushing once or twice in my entire character's career. I'm um, picking up a quest real quick here to kill three moss bears in ten minutes which is essentially a joke quest it's just meant for you to start leveling up as you can see it'll auto start tracking I click the little checkbox and uh, it sets me off timer starts counting down and uh, here we go now aside from auto attacking you have your basic skills and abilities that can be led into something called a skill chain auto attacking is actually pretty decent in this game as well because depending on the kind of weapon you have um, fast attacks, slow attacks, it can also hit more than once per swing Typically, if you have something like a pole arm, a spear, you know, or an axe, big-ass two-handed weapon, it'll hit multiple times, like four or five times, though very, very slowly. Now, here's a starved moss bear. It's my first target. As you can see, when I target him under the tooltip, it tells me his level, um, and he's a preemptive attack. In other words, he will aggro me if I get close to him. Those two little dots next to his name up on the uh, target pane show me that he is not as complicated of a mob to kill. In other words, he's not an elite, doesn't have all those crazy-ass moves and whatnot. Um, that's my first skill chain right there as you can see I open up with a basic attack and then lead it on into a shield That's an option that opens up for me um, There's also situational things like if I land the shield block then I can hit him back with the shield for a stun And then clip him with the edge of it for some more threat You'll get pushbacks knockdowns you get to pick them up and impale them and launch them downfield There's a lot of different things that open up in this game very very nice now once I land the kill obviously big blue smoke tells me that the mob is dead and I can loot it. Uh, if you do not loot something for a certain period of time, that loot becomes available for anybody who is around to get it. Uh, once you get low in HP, besides obviously looking fatigued, you have to med up. Now there are bandages and herb treatments and whatnot mana treatments that can help you regen, though they do have a cooldown and require reagent. If you don't have anything, you can just rest by using the comma button or the rest command. It's essentially going to make your character sit on his ass and regen your HP and MP very, very quickly. There is no food to regen, just potions, unfortunately, but it's really not that big of a deal, uh, though there is buff food in the game.